What is up everybody, Dr. Bacon of the Dragon Piece here, back with some more Minecraft through the ages. So, when we last left off, we had done a few random things. We had traveled through the night and fought some monsters. We had, oh, uh, speaking of which, I think the night just ended because there's some arrows and a creeper. We traveled a little bit that way. I don't know if it's actually north, but I'm calling it north because that's the way I've moved through my world. A little more close to my house for, than, than I'm normally comfortable with, but that's fine. I gotta, apologies, I gotta turn the volume down real quick. And uh, we currently lack uh, sound settings, so volume mixer it is. Right now I've just got to on and off. But we're here with a nice little house with our flowers and our piggies and creepers off in the distance and our farm, which it looks like we have some wheat. Looks like we've gotten some growth here. My skin is still broken. I don't even care anymore. Like, it, I, I, the only reason I even bring it up is because it works sometimes. If it never worked, that, if it never worked, that would be fine. If it always worked, that'd be fine. It's the fact that it works some of the time that's just like, just odd. So we've got three wheat. We can make our first bread of our own, of our own will, rather than the bread we have that we just stole from a dungeon. Yes, that, that's that was the other thing. We found a cave. We found our first dungeon in this world, this magnificent place, and bread. Nothing super great in the dungeon, but this episode I wanted to do actually something pretty similar. We've done. A fair bit of building in this world. You know, we've built... A, I don't know why it's like jumping. we built our our house. we built our ranch. I definitely want to do more building. But we had kind of a series of episodes that was just building and building adjacent things. So, I thought we'd have some more adventure. Particularly, I want to find another cave. I want to... We've got a lot of iron, but I want to get some more gold... Uh, we've got a fair bit of redstone. I want to get some lapis. I want to get, uh, I want to get things to build cooler stuff. Because we've got, we've got some stuff, but I want more. I want gold blocks. I want lapis blocks. I want more mossy cobble if we can find some. And, of course, some diamonds would be nice. And to do that, I wanted to go ahead and head that way. Which, again, I don't really know my directions. I don't even know where the sun is. Uh, I, uh, sun is setting that way, so that's technically west, I think. But I don't care. I'm I'm calling that north. Sun be damned. Uh, so east, realistically, uh, towards our spawn. I want to go past our spawn and further that way. That's what I had in mind. Past our old house, uh, past our little spawn chest, which we still haven't had to use. We have not died in this series. I'm very proud of that. Um, this is, this is the longest Let's Play I've ever had without any kind of death. And it's in Minecraft Alpha, so take that how you will. My only... There are a lot of creepers. It's almost night again, and there are still a non... Like, a, like a serious amount of creepers out and about. I just don't want to mess with it. And there's also a lot of pigs. I should probably do something about this. But my concern... I, also, I apologize if I'm really scatterbrained. It is, once again, fairly late. Uh, it's not, like, midnight or anything, but it's late enough that my brain's just kind of, like, free association mode. Just whatever whatever pops in comes out. But I want to be able to find my way back home. Because I, 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 don't, I don't like being tethered to one direction. I want to, if I see something cool, I want to go towards it. And right now, there really isn't anything to help me with that. I just have to kind of remember where my spawn is. F3 doesn't exist. There's no coordinates. There's no compass. There's no map. I just kind of have to wing it or place down 8,000 torches. But it doesn't have to be this way. Because, as has been mentioned, this is Minecraft through the ages. We've had a lot of fun in version 1.0.17 underscore 04. Lots of cool things. I think the better path of this series so far. But I think it's time to move on. To move forward. So, once again, we take the magic of this world, the time machine, 
and the suspension of disbelief that I hope you guys have, and we move forward in time. Okay, that was a little less intense that time. I think I'm getting used to it. Maybe I'll truly get used to it at some point. But here we are, actually where we intended to be this time on the first try. Alpha version 1.1.0. We have gone up and I just heard a skeleton beneath me. I, I think there is something directly underneath our house, but we'll investigate that another time. But here we are in our next version of the game. And part of the reason why we didn't get pulled off course this time is actually because despite our waypoint system being, you know, a waypoint system, not necessarily consecutive, uh, this update is actually directly after the previous one. There is some other history to this update. I will always, my settings will always be incorrect. I will always strive to talk a little bit about the history, even though that's not really, you know, it's not really what the series is about, but just a brief recap. Uh, this update was important for a couple of reasons. A, it added some cool new stuff, which we'll get to in a bit. But B, it was also the last of the Secret Friday updates. Uh, Minecraft went through a phase where updates were not so much about uh, big change logs telling you everything that happened, but were more subtle and happened, hence the name, on Fridays. And there was a kind of game to be had of going in and seeing what new stuff there was. And eventually you would get posted about and talked about and revealed. But there was this kind of nature of excitement around the idea of these Friday updates. This was the ninth one and the last one. There would be one more secret update, uh, but it would not be on a Friday. And we'll get there when we get there. So, why does this update matter for us? How does it help us explore unhinged and... Not unhinged. Unleashed. Also... A lot of the English words for being free also imply insanity. Be free and untethered. There we go. Untethered exploration. Well, a couple of reasons. But perhaps the most important one. We don't have enough iron for. But this leads us to another one. So we've got a lot of iron. We've got a good amount of coal. You know, that's that's nothing to shake a stick at. But I, I don't feel like using a fourth of our coal just to cook most of our iron. But as of version 1.1.0, we don't have to because we have lava buckets, which in addition to being all kinds of good fun, can now be used as fuel. It does consume the entire bucket, which is indeed a shame. So it does cost three iron in addition to finding lava. Uh, that will change eventually. But, honestly, three iron for cooking a hundred items, which means as long as we remember to refill the furnace, this will cook all of our iron and some of our pork if I really feel like standing next to this furnace for a while, which I don't. But it's it's cool. It's a small price to pay, you know, three iron and some lava for uh, eight plus coal, which, you know... It, I guess it depends on who you are if that's a worthy trade-off. I don't know that I've ever actually done this in survival. I've always known it was a thing. I don't know that I've ever actually bothered to do it. But hey, it's a new feature. I had lava. I had iron. What the heck? It is getting dark, so we're not going to run out into the night. But I now have enough iron to show you why we moved forward when we did. Because now we can make... Da, 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 a compass. Which points towards our spawn, which obviously isn't our house, but if we travel far enough, we've made a trail of torches, I think. I think we made a trail of torches, I honestly don't remember. But we at least have a ch chest at our spawn, and our spawn is relatively reachable from our house. So if we travel off in some random direction, as long as we have this thing with us, we don't have to care where we are or how far from home we are. We can always find our way back. And it works just as intended. Obviously, it is a little buggy at times, but, you know, what can you do? And, uh, yeah. 
So those are just two of the cool things. There's a couple of other stuff. Most of it's pretty subtle. Uh, some of it won't affect us because we are in an already generated world. But yeah, we are getting closer and closer. You know, alpha alpha updates, for the most part, really weren't about the big changes. You know, the game. I mean, people will argue that this is the game's golden age. I don't entirely agree. But the the gist is that the game had a functional gameplay loop at this point in time. It is a functioning game. But there's new cool stuff added, and that's the spirit of this series, and that's the spirit of all of it. So, enjoy the compasses and the smelting lava buckets. That said, I'm not going to make you sit through all that, so I'm going to sit here until all this iron smelts, and until it is daytime, and we will be back when it is time to explore adventure and we're back the sun is rising my iron is not done smelting but it's close enough and I don't care anymore let's get ready I just wanted to wait until on camera to do a couple of things real quick and just make some new gear now that we've got all this iron our leather has served us well for what it was as has our stone but I think it's time for some upgrades and we'll just leave it here just you know for posterity and, I guess, I don't know. I don't feel like throwing, throwing things away. So let's make some more tools. We'll go ahead and make another pickaxe. We'll make another sword. We'll just make just an iron shovel just to start with. Keep some sticks on us. And we need a chest plate, a helmet, and some boots. There we go. All right, we are truly geared up and ready. Let's do this. And we're gonna take a little bit of spare iron, just just a bit, a little bit of raw pork, just in case, and some gravel and some dirt, just you know, for building or crossing gaps or whatever it may be. So, let us embark on our first grand adventure. No boundaries, no tethers, nothing keeping us anywhere near our house. Let's do this. I want diamonds. I want cool structures. I want uh, uh, lapis. I want redstone. I want gold. I want everything. Um, and I know we're technically going backwards, but that's fine. We just, you gotta go backwards to go forward sometimes. In this case, we're going backwards towards our spawn to go the other direction away from our spawn because we've explored a lot that way. And in the meantime, we pass by our old shack. Uh, some more lava down there. I, I, I thought we'd gone and grabbed that. I guess not. Maybe I just left it because I, I thought it was pretty. Is there anything worth looking at here? Did I leave anything in here? No. Well, it's nice to, to see a little bit of home, you know, as it were. I was actually thinking the other day, uh, I don't remember exactly when I started this series. I think it was about a year ago, maybe a little less. But uh, it's it's one of those illusionary things where my, my sense of time is distorted in this game. I, I talked about this in my most recent uh, uh, Lonely Adventures episode. But because some during some periods of time I played a lot, uh, here's Spawn. During some periods of time I played a lot, and during some periods I barely played at all. The periods I played a lot during, I feels like lasted a long time and took several months, and the other periods feel really short. Uh, this series, I'm pretty sure I, I haven't I haven't double checked this, but despite the fact that in my head, Alpha is a substantial portion of Minecraft's history, this Let's Play has already gone on I think at least twice as long, if not longer, than the Alpha stage of Minecraft existed. Like, from the very first version of Alpha after InDev, I believe, to the very first version of Beta was, I believe, about three or four months. It was, like, September to December, I think, or, or like, or like uh, August to December, something like that. So, yeah. To me, in, in my head, Alpha and Beta are like half of Minecraft's history and the full release is the other half, when in reality, this is like a tenth of Minecraft's history, if that. And we're getting a little bit of lag because we're generating new terrain and the boat lives. 
That doesn't happen very often. And there it goes. We've got some sugar cane, some reed. We've got gravel beaches. We've got a new island to explore. Uh, oh, right. There's an interesting bug in this version. Um, for whatever reason, and I think you can do it with reed too, you can't plant it... Oh. Uh... Huh. Okay, this bug is weirder than I thought. Apparently you can plant reed, or sugarcane, on gravel, in water, and it just kind of stays there? You can't plant it on gravel out of water, obviously, because that would make, that would be weird. Anyway, bugs aside, <laughs> I, I thought the bug was, the bug I remember is that you can plant it, you know, in water next to a block and it sticks around. Ooh. Might have to, have to look into that. Maybe you know what? Maybe not. We've 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 got we've got a compass. We can go wherever we please. I'm only gonna go into the caves that look appetizing. You you can tell how freed I feel. You know I'm no longer having to take everything that comes my way because I don't have to worry about time or whatnot because we don't have to go back this episode. This can be a multi-episode expedition because we don't have to. Uh, I don't have to remember how to get home. Basically. Is, is the gist of things. This is actually a really cool area. I actually really like this. It's kind of like, it's it's hilly, but it's not like sheer hills. You know, it's it's like, it's rolling. It feels like a rolling prairie. We've got our little, uh, little tower there, little uh, spoon. That was nothing like a spoon. I don't know why that word came out of my mouth. It's 10.30 at night, leave me alone. What's over here? Ooh, ooh, I love these. I don't know why, they're not that uncommon, but they just, I don't know, man. Oh, ah, oh, these little, these little like overhangs are just so cool to me. What else is there? What else is around? This is a pretty big, this is a pretty big, pretty big island, actually. Pretty big uh, land mass we've got here. I'm, I'm impressed. We've got chickens. We've got mountains. This is a really cool area. I actually really like this. We we might have to build some kind of base over here on this landmass. Because, you know, like, it's, it's all, you know, there's no biomes right now. So it's all pretty, like, you know, I, I almost used, definitely not the right word. It's all pretty... I don't want to say monotonous, because we use that to mean boring, but in the very literal sense, monotonous is not all pretty similar. Um, it, it's still, you know, every area still has its own little feel, its own little charm. Like, if you go back and watch some old Let's Plays of, like, you know, Paul Soros Jr. or, you know, uh, X, you know, David 64 yt or, you know, Noob Sniper. Uh, I never actually watched Scene Anners, but same same thing. Like, they all their worlds all feel so unique and different. They all have their own little charm to them. And and it's the same thing with, with all the different areas in a given world. Look at that. Look at that. I love this game. Well, let's find a cave. This isn't just walk around and stare at landscape. I've done that actually plenty in this series. In every series, actually. Every, every Let's Play I do, I do that a lot. Let's find some real adventure. Let's find some danger. Let's find some treasure. That's a dead end. That might not be a dead end, but I want, I want something exciting, not teleporting cows. I want a cave that looks... I, I want to find a cave like last episode's, but that actually, you know, fulfills its promises of of, of wonder and, and depth. Ooh, we got some caves over there. Some of those might be promising. Got lighting glitches. Nothing, nothing like them. What else have we got? I'm, I, I am. Uh, I love this landscape. I really do like this area. But I am starting to kind of regret turning down that cave that was right where we made landfall. Like that did look. It didn't, it didn't look promising, but you know, it it went further than the eye could see, which is which is something. 
Now this appears to be going up, which isn't a good sign. It probably just, yep, yeah, just goes up and ends in the middle of a mountain. Although that was a cave noise. What's over here? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, no. Guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Well, you know it's new generation when Lava Fall starts fires that weren't started when you got there. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. This is the danger. Oh, crap. That's gonna... Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Don't. Only you can prevent forest fires, kids. But once they're started, don't bother trying to stop them, because at that point, there's nothing you can do. But this is a hundred times cooler than our current place. Like, I love, I love my house, truly. It was, it was a beautiful house. It's a beautiful area. The, the, the perch and everything. But guys, look at this! I called that place a hidden valley. That's not a hidden valley. This, this, oh no! It's got the perfect hole punched through the mountain. It's got the overhangs. It's got the floating dirt blocks. It's got the lava fall and the waterfall. It's got the nighttime. It's got the, the thick cliffs around the side. Guys, do I need to move here? I want to move here. We're not going to make any decisions this episode. We're not, I'm not I'm not remotely in a mental state to make those kind of decisions. I need your guys' feedback. And if we do decide to move, it'll probably be in a couple of updates cuz I, you know, I don't I don't want to just abandon that place, but we did talk about living a, a nomadic life in this in this playthrough. And man, the potential for this place. I mean, I I know I gawk out over just about every place I find in Minecraft cuz that's just who I am. But I haven't seen a place like this in a long time. Guys, I need your feedback. Let me know what, what to do. In the meantime, I'm going to hide in a cave and see how long I've been recording. Okay, alright. We're going to hide in this cave. That doesn't go anywhere. Crap. Okay, we're going to find a real cave to hide in. We're going to explore a real cave. And hopefully find some resources because if if there is truly adventure here then that will be the icing on the cake what is down here 